Hey everybody, welcome back to Boost Your Income with Bootstrap to WordPress. We're entering a brand new section now where we're going to be coding the HTML templates for the blog overview page using Bootstrap, of course. And in this lecture, we're going to be coding the basic markup structure for our blog.html page. Check it out. All right, and welcome back. We're gonna be coding our blog section here in our static templates. So right here, I'm showing you the final static site that you can also access in your course files folder in the final static website section. And I'm just gonna show you here what we're gonna build. It's quite simple, really. It's just a pretty generic but beautiful blog overview. You see this, it's pretty common in a lot of blogs and in most blogs actually, there's a blog overview where you see the excerpts of the blog. So small snippets of each blog post and then you can enter those, those blog excerpts to see the full post. Right now we're just gonna build the overview. So this is the blog overview page. We have a nice header here with a parallax background and just the title of the page right here in the center. You scroll down, you'll see each blog excerpt. We're gonna be coding all this, uh, each of these boxes here with the title, all this metadata, I guess we can call it, post info, comment bubble, just some generic text here with a continue reading button or link, and then our feature image. And then we're just gonna copy that a couple more times because we just really need to style one of them because in WordPress, we're gonna be using the loop to post and generate and display all of the blog posts. And then we'll, uh, we'll also be coding our sidebars. But in this specific lecture, we're going to just be coding the basic markup so that we can get uh, going and hit the ground running. All right, so jump into your code editor and create a file called blog.html here in the root of your B2W, if that's what you called it. Uh, static site directory. I called mine B2W, whatever you called yours, make sure to create a file called blog.html right there beside index. First thing you're gonna wanna do is just do the pretty much what you would always do with a plain HTML page. To help you speed up time though, what I would recommend is going to your index file and let's copy the everything here from the body up to the head. Let's start there, paste that. And let's get a bit more here. Let's scroll down to the very bottom and grab from HTML all the way up to, ooh, I believe footer. Here we go. In fact, we're gonna grab this sign up section as well. So let's grab that. Paste that below here. And let's make sure we got that there. All right, there's our body. Good, good. Okay. So let's save that. Check it out here in your browser. Click on blog, the blog link, and that should go to your blog.html. And we got a pretty funky looking page here. I noticed there's a couple things missing. We're gonna to need to add our header because that's pretty global. So let's go ahead, go back to our code. And we need to grab up here in our index, scroll up right under your opening body tag. We're actually gonna grab a few of these things. Header, we're gonna grab the header. Copy that, paste that in your blog right under the body here. Make sure it's in there nice. Good, save that. Let's just check it out. All right, there is our header, great. We have our footer down here and the sign up section which is global on all of the pages. Let's just go ahead right away, first of all, and just make this tab active. So just go to your blog.html, make sure to go down to your nav here and take active, the class active, out of the first list item, which is home, add it to the second one. Now, you don't need to do this once we're in WordPress because WordPress will automatically do that for you, but just so you can see what it looks like, there you go. Boom, there it is. So there is the basic markup structure for our blog. 
And basically what we're going to want to do now is make sure we have everything so that in the next lecture we could start adding our excerpt markup. I think the first thing I want to do is go to your body tag, add the class of blog, because we're going to be styling the blog page specifically. And so if we can add a class right up here on the body tag, we can dive down into some CSS by selecting class blog and then anything within it. So we could style those things specifically. Just going to make sure everything's good here. After header, that's where we're going to add our big graphic with the title and the parallax background. We'll get there and we'll add some more content right here, basically. So just get some space and I'll see you in the next lecture because that's where we're going to start coding the markup for the header and the excerpts. And so I'll see you there.